Welcome back from the break. You're still live here on Prime Sports on the Joy News channel. And I did promise you an interview before we went for the break. Uh, let me just give you a slight background. Orlando Paris paid Ken Faisal about $150,000 to secure the services of Kwame Pepra. The South African Giants have got their money's worth as the 21-year-old striker was a standout performer in the 2021-2022 Premier Soccer League season. Uh, we have the privilege of having Kwame Pepra right here in the studio. Uh, Kwame, it's a good time to have you. Welcome back from South Africa. Uh, seven goals in the PSL, your first season. How would you describe uh, your whole your season overall? Uh, okay. First of all, I'd like to give your Almighty God the thanks for how far he has brought me. And also, thank you for giving me this platform. Uh, I would say it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy being a foreigner, going to another man's uh, country to work. And then uh, the expectations for joining a big club like Orlando Parrot, it wasn't easy, but as time went on, uh, I thank God for uh, granting me this seven goals in this season. You speak of how big Orlando Paris is. I'm sure people have an idea, but you've been in the club. We saw the announcement video, the fans playing in such a big stadium. Give us an idea of how huge the club is, especially in South Africa. It's, it's one of the big, I say, I would say, when you, when you, when South Africa, there are three top teams that everyone or every player wants to join. And then it's, it's Orlando Pirates, Kaiser Chiefs, and then Mamelodi Sundowns. But for me, being in Ghana, I thought, I didn't, I didn't even expect it to be that big than how I, I saw it when I entered into the club. So I would say, um, it's a very big club, and then, the demands and expectations are very, very high. Well, we'll come to that aspect, uh, but let's talk about your personal achievement this season. Scoring seven goals made you uh, equal a bit of a record set by Abdul Basit. Uh, he scored seven goals in the PSL in the 2013-2014 season, which was the highest by a Ghanaian in his first season. You are able to equal that. Uh, was that the target that, or was it any close, the seven goals, to the target that you set for yourself uh, before the season started? No, for before the season started, it was it was my aim to be uh, the top goal scorer for the for for my club, my current club, Orlando Pirates. So I was trying my best to work hard to try and uh, achieve many many uh, clubs uh, cups for the club. So along the line, I didn't I don't I don't I didn't even target to break records or. Uh, be in the same stage with uh, the player you are talking about. But um, it was my aim to get a double figure in my first season, but it wasn't achieved. But the seven goals in the league, I would say it, it, it's a massive improvement. Okay. Uh, I think you still got close to that target. I think you were the second top scorer for your club in the league yeah. uh, last season. Uh, but let's move ahead and talk about you know, some accolades that you are close to winning. Uh, you're nominated for PSL Young Player of the Year. You missed out on that. How did that make you feel? Um, being, being nominated alone makes me a winner because it's not easy, it's not easy, that easy for a foreigner to be in a, a, another man's country playing football. And then for your first season, you are being nominated in the best three young best players in the PSL. So I would say uh, it's a big achievement and this shows that I've, 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 I've really worked hard this season. Well, you, you spoke of the pressure at Orlando Paris being such a big club, the fans. Let's focus on the fans. When you joined at first, it wasn't too smooth sailing. The goals were not coming. And you, I was following some of the comments by fans on social media. They were not too happy with uh, your performances. How were you able to go past that and find your form and start scoring again? Um, you know, being, being, being a striker and then considering my, my previous uh, performance at the, my former club, King Faisal, and then being joining such a big club like Orlando Parrot, uh, the expectations were very high. But when I started and then things were not going on well for me, 
I, I took it upon myself to psych myself. And then gradually, when the ghost started coming, I got all the attention from the support and then everything was okay for me. Mm. I want us to now talk about this, this medal, uh, just for the benefit of our viewers. Uh, this is the runner-up medal for the CAF Confederation Cup. Uh, they narrowly lost on penalties uh, to RS Bekan from Morocco. Uh, Kwame Pepper, I want you to tell me about, about it. When you came so, so close, a penalty shootout, uh, how did you feel? Uh, the, the whole team felt very disappointed because we went all in and all out for the trophy, not for a, a first runner-up. So we were very, very disappointed. And then for me, me as an individual, I, I wanted to win this cup and then to also be in the records book of Orlando Pirates as a legend winning something for the club. So it was very, very disappointing not being able to get that cup. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but, but let's talk about you know, some of your ambitions now. Uh, the Black Stars are currently camping. Uh, you know, they've moved to Angola to face Central Africa after beating Madagascar. Uh, was that part of your season aspiration when you moved from Ghana to South Africa that you would hope that you would be included in the national team one day? Oh, yeah. yeah. Every, every Ghanaian player's dream is to be able to join the national team and then to work and then able to support his country. And then considering my, my, my former performance at the uh, Ken Faisal Football Club and then also this season at uh, Orlando Parade, I think I've done enough to be handed a call-up because as, as, as the type of striker I am, I can play on the left wing and then the right wing and also at the centre forward. And also my area duels are very, very good that I can see. So I think uh, deserving a call-up is not a bad idea, but uh, for the national, uh, for the current players in the national camp, they also, all also deserve the call-up. And then I think uh, they, I wish them all the best of luck in the coming games. Yeah. Uh, and speaking of goals, uh, let's come back to Ghana. I'm sure you've been keeping an eye out on the Ghana Premier League. Uh, Mbella and then Yawano, both on 20 goals for the Gold King race. Have you been following that? And who do you tip to finish with the Golden Boots? Uh, because, because of my former club, ever since I travelled, I've been following the Ghana Premier League a lot. And then considering uh, Mbella, that, that Cameroonian has done a very good job from, the started, uh, from the, when the season started, but uh, Yawano is also on hits now, yeah. and then he was, he's on a big form. But for me, to my opinion, I think uh, Mbella has led the goal scoring chart for a long time throughout this season, so it will be very good for him to win it. Yeah, it will be very good for him to win it, too, in my opinion. Well, you spoke of uh, following the Ghana Premier League closely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure you've also been keeping tabs on your former club, Ken Faisal, this season. They are 13th, uh, but they are still not safe yet. They're involved in a relegation battle. How do you see things ending up in the season for them? Oh, I know Ken Faisal. And then this situation happened to me when I was there. <laughs> yeah. So I know how the, the, my playmates, because uh, some of the players I play with, are still there and then I know how they started the first round and then they were in a good position in the first half, first round. So I think when they psych themselves and then talk to themselves, I know they are going to escape relegation. They, they will, surely they will escape relegation. Uh, let's now head back to Orlando Pirates and speak about your future. Uh, we understand that there's been some offers for you, uh, one specifically from an unnamed Greek club uh, offering around $650,000. Is that something that you know of and where does your future lie at this moment? At the moment, I'm a player for Orlando Paris. So, and then I'm also concentrated on the field of play. So when it comes to office and then those stuff, I think my management will handle that. And then if, even if uh, there is a good offer, my management will sit down with the club and then also consult my, my current club, which is Orlando Pirates. And then if the two parties get along together with the offer, and then they, they think 
there is going to be a move. Why not? Yeah, but for the, at the moment, I'm a player for Orlando Pirates. And uh, I just want to focus on your teammate, and specifically uh, Richard Ofori. Uh, he's yeah. also from Ghana. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. I'm yet to see a picture of the two of you together. I mean, I, I, was, telling, I was telling my producer, Asari Bidia, I could have never seen the two of you in a picture before. Uh, How was your relationship with Richard Ofori uh, back in South Africa? Ofori, uh, Richard Ofori has been a day one brother to me ever since I entered. Uh, I joined Orlando Parade. Because he has been there for me when any any time I needed I needed his help, he has been there for me. And then he has also been advising me on how and when to do things to avoid problem in in, in South Africa. So I'll use I'll even use this opportunity to thank uh, Richard Ofori for being there for me as a brother. Senior, <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> we'll, we'll make sure we get that fast for, <laughs> uh, for Richard. But just to wrap up, uh, looking ahead, uh, Kwame Pepper, in the next five, six years, where do you see yourself? Okay, in the next five years or six years, I, I, I see myself winning, and then I want to be winning the African Cup or AFCON for, for Ghana, and then also being with Ghana in the World Cup, and then also uh, playing in the top flight leagues around the world, and also winning uh, trophies and then medals for my club, any club that I will be playing. Mm. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, uh, yeah. Kwame Pepper. Okay. Thank you too. And uh, today I'll be I'll be signing out as a run up <laughs> for the Cup Champions League. Let me yeah. Show about this yeah. <laughs> you know, I had I had dreams of playing football too. Oh, so okay. This this feels good. Uh, yeah. I've also won with something. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you too. Thank you. And uh, that's the news on which we'll be wrapping up today on the Prime Sports. My evening has been made because I'm wearing something very prestigious. Uh -huh. uh, I'll see you next uh, week, same time, uh, as we bring you the latest in the world of sports. Have a good weekend.